Okay, cool. my bad. You're good. Right. No, tranquila. Let's get back on track. You're Let's good. Get it. No, you should have given me that. I'm gonna, no, I'm giving this. I'm giving this to you. Mariah, are you serious? You're gonna want to keep this. You just put this. the used tissue right back inside the what you, you call you're it. Gonna we have Mariah and Jalik Mocos on eBay right now. We'll start the bid at twenty five ninety nine. Twenty five ninety nine. We start the bid on eBay. Mariah and Jalik Mocos twenty five ninety nine on eBay. Ladies and gentlemen, the Princess of Miami, uh, she's also known as La Toxica, uh, is here with us again. Good to see you, Mariah. Mariah Angelique, because last time I saw you, you were at our stage in Miami on our Tuno 24 Nueve uh, stage, and it was that was back in 2019 for Calle Ocho. Yeah. And in ese entonces te hacías llamar solamente por Mariah. Ahora eres Mariah Angelique. Exactamente. Nice. What? What made you make that change and, and add the Angelique to it? I like it, by the way. I love it, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that's my my born name, my birth name, right? Angelique Pere. Pero decidí usar esa, ese nombre porque, like, I don't got no nickname. You feel me? Like, you know, tengo, like, un alter ego. I'm just me. So it's always been Mariah forever. And then cuando, hey, vamos a ser real, cuando Mariah Carey, me, me quiso, like, you know, demandar y eso. Ella trató de decir que yo no podía usar ese nombre solo. Como que yo no podía ser Mariah solamente. Yo tenía que ser Mariah algo. So, you know, it's, it sucks. You gotta do me like that. Mm -hmm. I'm Mariah too, you feel me? And she's my inspiration. So, I love you, Mariah, pero it's all good. And how does that feel when someone that you admire and that out of no choice of yours, right? Because your parents decided to name you. Tus padres son los que te decidieron llamarte Mariah. Yeah. ¿Y cómo se siente alguien que tú admiras como Mariah Carey trata de demandarte porque se cree que es la única Mariah que puede existir en el mundo? Man, this is, this is funny, honestly, to me. But Did it first make you laugh? Did it make you sad? En verdad, no. A mí no me, no me, no me hizo llorar. It didn't make me sad at all. It was just more funny to me, more funny than anything because, you know... Usually when you're, oh, sorry to be so toxic, ¿me entiende? Pero usually when you're that age, yeah. you feel me? And you already did what you did in your career, like, and you're already on another level. You should be able to give that respect to the people who's going to come take your place now. You feel me? Like to the next generation. And if you can't see that, if you can't give that respect to those people who, can literally, who, who literally come in next after you, I guess that's just that's just hate. That's just hate to me. It's a great point. I never I never thought of it that way. But you're absolutely right. Like we should respect our elders, respect people that have opened doors for us in the industry yeah. and for other artists, right? Uh that that have paved the way. Claro but the sí. respect debería ser también de arriba, es de abajo para arriba, de arriba para abajo también. Like, okay, la nueva generación, teach them, guide them well, but it's not like you're the only one. Claro, claro que no. Qué interesante. Pero todo all the respect to Mariah, you know, all my respect to Mariah. Little does she know she's my inspiration because when I was growing up, all I listened to was Mariah Carey. Mm -hmm. And my mom loves Mariah Carey, but that's why I'm a Mariah, believe it or not. It's crazy. But I guess that was just my destiny. And I don't know. All my, my respect to her, though. No worries. It's all good. I'm still be rich. Yeah, that's the attitude. That's the important part. Is it true that you um, that you deleted all Mar all your Mariah music and on all, all her songs that you had saved on your playlist and that you ripped up the Mariah Carey posters you have? Uh, oh those no, are no, that's that's not it. That's right. not true. I think you made those. Rumors <laughs> I just made up. that shit up. Yeah. <laughs> what I didn't make up is the fact that I know people always say, "Oh, you have beautiful eyelashes, Enrique," and finally somebody has more beautiful eyelashes than me. Vamos a yeah. Now let's go with the eyelash cam right here. Vamos a pestañar, which is our camera here. Aquí podemos a pestañar. There you go. Three, two. If the, we can blink like 15 times. Just a, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are called La Toxica eyelashes. This, the Toxica eyelashes. Toxica eyelashes. They are definitely Toxica and they're mesmerizing. I'll your take eyes your are soul. beautiful. I'll take anybody's soul. Ooh. Peligrosa. Toxica. Normal. Hoy en día decirle Toxica o okay, que una mujer... Eh, se autotitule como tóxica. ¿Eso es bueno o malo? Eso puede ser bueno y puede ser malo, porque puede ser bueno porque, you know, ella es tóxica en la cama mm. y puede ser malo porque ella es tóxica si, si le falla. Uy, y Mariah Angelique es tóxica, ¿por qué? ¿Y cuándo? 
Mariah Angelique es tóxica porque creo que soy fuerte, tengo un carácter fuerte, ¿me entiendes? Para estar en esta industria, to be in this game, you gotta be a little toxic, you know? Because you never know who's gonna come for you. In what sense? Just bad people that are trying to do harm or bad or people that don't, don't want to help you? Just people in general, you know, like everybody. Everybody's a snake, so you got to be a snake too. You think everyone's bad? No. No, I don't think everybody's bad. My boyfriend's not bad. <laughs> He's Is he the only good one? Uh, am I bad? And my mom. And your mom. Your mom, and my your boyfriend, mom and, my dad. and your dad. And Salomon. All right. And what about my me? manager? And yeah, manager. I go. I go be like that. I love my. I love my team. You know, I. I'm never, never n nothing against my team. I love my team. Everybody who's helped me get to where I am today. I just feel like you gotta have a tough shell. You gotta be like, you gotta be like that. And I'm from Miami, so what do you expect? Who taught you how to take care of yourself, protect yourself? Um, who taught me? Mm. Nobody. Nobody? Your Nobody. mom? Nobody. Bueno, yeah, my mom did her thing. My mom did her thing. She did what she could, but when I was 16, I ran away from my house, so there's only so much she could teach me after I ran mm. away. Why'd you run away? Um, Sorry, I got a little runny nose. I don't know why. You, I got you. Kleenex! Because it's like Three. freezing over there. It is cold in here, right? It was freezing over there, and now over here is like no it's, AC. This is about, it's because I'm hot. I'm like, what the... The moment you walk in, I'm hot, so the temperature, you know, sube un poquito. Um, so, Damn. look, you see, this see this, this, this is a guy right here, for real. <laughs> we got we to gotta do business or something. Yo. No doubt, no doubt, let's do it. I like how you move. Esto, All right, my bad. You good? Right. No, tranquila. Let's get back on track. You're let's good. get it. No, you should have given me that. I'm gonna, no, I'm giving, this, I'm giving this to you. Mariah, are you serious? You're going to want to keep this. You just put the used tissue right back inside the what you, you call You're going to want to keep this forever. I'm going to sell this on eBay. Go ahead. We have Mariah Angelique Mocos on eBay right now. We'll start the bid at $25.99. $25.99, we start the bid on eBay. Mariah Angelique Mocos, $25.99 on eBay. Okay. 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 So back to what I was saying. Let's go back to- I think this is my show now. This this is your show. Tu a mí and talk show, about right? whatever you want to talk about. No, I'm kidding. Go, go ahead. Ask me. I love your nails. You've mentioned in the, in, in the past that they have been tus uñas una inspiración de de la diva la caballota que queremos un montón Ivy Queen y que tuviste la oportunidad de conocerla. That was very special for you in your career in that moment. Claro, claro que sí. Ahora mismo mis uñas se están se están cayendo. Ah, ¿qué les pasó a las de allá? ¿A quién le? But that's every toxic as problem. Like you know, if you got mm. if you got nails this long, you can't even do nothing because them just pop off like nothing. How long did they last before those popped off? Mm, at least at least three weeks, two weeks. You made it three weeks without nothing happening to them? Yeah, this happened all on my birthday. My birthday just passed. Happy birthday. Thank you. It was like two days ago, August 7th. Nice. And I was just like, I don't know. I was doing a bunch of shit. ¿Cuánto cumpliste? Cumplí 22 años. That's really good. That's an awesome age. Thank you. If you could be one age the rest of your life, just like stay at that age, is there a certain age that you'd like to stay at? Mm. I don't like to think about that. I don't like to think about age like that. But if I could stay at, at a certain age, I think I would stay at at least at least twenty five because maybe at twenty five I'll learn everything I have to learn already. You feel me? You feel what I mean? Yes. Do you feel like you know a lot already, or you still learn something new every day? I learn something new every day. I learn something new every day. And yep. If you don't mind, I want to go back to when you ran away at 16. All right. Because listening to your story, you can help other people that are, you know, in that same situation that are watching or listening right right now. What led to you have, you know, making that that decision? What led to me running away at 16 was uh it's actually a pretty long story. And but I'm gonna make it short. So I was really like so focused on making music every day, but I was going to school at the same time. I was going to Hollandale High School at the time. And I was already in my fourth high school, you feel me? And I was on my third year. So I was just tired of switching schools so much. So every day I would just like be writing songs all day. 
you moved, you, sw- you switch high school out of your choice or your parents were moving or you had problems at those high schools? Why so much switching schools? No, porque tú sabes, sabes, yo no le culpo a mi mamá por nada. I know life is, life ain't easy. So, you know, we had to move around a lot. But hey, I got to see all of Miami. So I'm not, I'm not tripping about that. I know every, every hood. But I just was like, I don't feel like moving schools anymore because I don't do the work anyways. And I don't want to be nothing in school. So I want to be a singer. So why I'm going to school if I don't want to be going to college like I don't want to go to college so why am I in school so pretty much when I was 16 I snuck away I snuck out one day from my house because (laughs) (laughs) I snuck away from my house to go to the studio because I asked my mom already can I go to the studio today can I go she said yeah 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 you could go the day comes she tells me no so I was like, all right, so I'm going to sneak out. When she was sleeping, I snuck out to the stool, and when I came back, the door was locked. Hmm. So I got caught. I'm so rude. I'm looking at the camera. No, it's okay. So I got caught. I got caught, and I was like, what am I going to do, lie? I got a dress on. I got my watch. I was like, Ugh, it's over. So después de ahí, sabe, mi, uh, mi mamá en verdad no, no confiaba en mí después de, de ese día. Pero yo no vivo con mi papá, solamente con mi mamá y su novio. So, bueno, ahora su esposo, pero... I just didn't care, bro. I just didn't even care anymore. I was at the point where I just want to be in the studio. And I ended up just running away. She put me to live with my sister after that. So, to tighten me up. Mm-hmm. And I ended up running away from my sister's house. Your sister's older? Yeah. Yeah. My you sister- ran away from there, too. Yeah, I ran away from my sister's crib. No, because I never ran away from my mom's house. Okay, right. She I didn't have the because, balls right, to run okay. away from my mom's house. Uh-huh. It's when she put me to live with my sister that she thought I was just going like, you know, I was going to be going back to school, you know, living a normal life. And that's when I decided I'm just running away because I want to be an artist full time. I want to do music. And if I don't get out there, I'll say I'm not going to let nobody hold me back. Fuck school. ¿Te arrepientes de algo en ese momento? Eh, me arrepiento de... No, no me arrepiento de nada. I don't got no regrets, never. And your relationship now with your mom and with your sister? No, my relationship with my mom and my sister have always been, been great. ¿Me entiendes? Ellos, ellos no entendían lo que quería hacer en el momento, pero our relationship has always been good. When they saw that I was like, when I met Nelly at Arma Secreta y firmé con Universal Musica Latina, que empecé a sacar videos de música, and they saw I was doing it, mm-hmm. that's when everything was fine. And that that led to, of course, um, you recording now most recently with, uh, con, con, con Carol G. Yes. Same label. Yeah. Ahí está Balvin label. también, eso abre muchas puertas. Tuviste yeah. mucho éxito con, con Perreito, en The Remix, con Arcángel, con, con Darel. Mm-hmm. Recientemente acabas de llegar al billón de streaming, one billion streaming on all your platforms. Felicidades. Estás teniendo mucho éxito para una artista relativamente eh, nueva. ¿Qué sí. te dice tu mamá y tu hermana y tus familiares y todo de esa, de esa niña un poco rebelde que se escapó de la, de, de la casa de su hermana <risa> y que ahora está teniendo, wow, Está colaborando y haciendo eh, buena música. En verdad me siento agradecida, súper agradecida que everything I, I was hustling for, everything that I, I risked risk it all for actually, actually worked for me, you know, because it doesn't work for a lot of people and it wouldn't work for a lot of people. I'm not telling no girls to like run away and stuff, but shit, if you don't, if you don't, if you got problems at home, you don't like how you living and you want, you want something better, do what you got to do because I do what I had to do and, and I'm glad. I'm just grateful. I'm blessed that everything is working out for me. I just thank God. I'm very happy to, to hear that and that everything is working out for you. Um, you're doing a lot of great stuff. You collabed uh, with uh, One one Republic, that great song, Run. I know you have a portable studio where you just recorded something recently that you're very proud of también. Yeah, I just came back from from an Airbnb that I rented for my 22nd birthday. And... How was and, the party, good? Oh, that shit. 
<laughs> I don't know if I could curse on him. Yeah, you can be. I want you to be Mariah Angelique. That shit was lit. That shit was super lit. I had all my close friends and family and my team come. You know, unfortunately, some people couldn't make it, but uh, it's all good because, you know, it's not my only birthday I'm going to have. So, um, but yeah, point is, I just came back from the Airbnb and we was making a song. I got the portable studio. Me and my partner, we be always be making music on the go all the time. So I just decided to do some a song in English because, you know, like something had happened, you know, like, you know how I say every day I learn something? Mm -hmm. Well, I learned something today, you know. I'm learning still, so I decided to make a song about it. And it actually came out pretty good. I wish y'all could hear it, but I don't have it. Well, when you when you have it ready to go, make sure you send, you send it to us. That's a beautiful thing about being bicultural, right? Living in both worlds and, and having, you were born, you and I, I was born in Chicago, but born here in the United States, you were born in Miami. My parents are Cuban, your parents are Cuban, Puerto Rican, and we speak English, we speak right. Spanish, we live in both, well, both worlds. Mm -hmm. And that really opens a lot of doors for us and much more opportunities, of course. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure it has for me. And with that said, we're celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. What are you most proud of as far as your heritage is concerned? I'm most proud of just like, I don't know, just being able to express myself and, and my music with, because I love my culture. I think my culture is full of art and I just love making new art and just doing what I love. So that's what I'm thankful for. We're happy that we have you this year at our iHeartRadio Fiesta Latina 2021. We're going to be at the Amway Center in Orlando, Florida. You're going to be on that stage up there with us with Prince Royce, with Luis Yandel, Luis Fonsi that we're going to be honoring with our iHeartRadio uh, Corazón Latino Award, Bastar Natina Tacha, Lunai, uh, and of course, J Balvin. Are you excited? Oui, hell yeah, I'm excited. It's going to be lit. Can't wait to perform up there. It's going to be like a dream come true. So everybody, pull up. How complicated is it for you or easy is it for you to pick what songs you're going to you're gonna sing when you have events like this? Well, I have a set of songs that I, I've been rehearsing and I can't change it up right now. Like maybe I could change it up a little, but I'm like rehearsing that set. It's like a what, 30 minute set? What goes into show? that? Like that you you have choreographers and... You yes, know, I have a creative director, and okay. she's a she a one stop shop. Her name is Otan, and you know I thank God that people I know, like Roshan, he plugged me in with her. He's very good friends with her too. I I worked with her like two years ago, and then I don't know. I just like I disappeared on her. I'm like where she went, and then I have a boyfriend now. His name is Roshan Roshan Fagan. And it just happens that he's like super good friends with her. And when we when we got together, he's like, "Oh, how you know what that?" And I was like, "Yo, I worked with her like two years ago." So we did a photo shoot together, and I realized that she does it all. She's a creative director. She's a stylist. She's a choreographer. She she set it up. she set it all up for me, honestly. And I'm just at the point where I want to elevate. So I'm just glad my team is doing the same thing. And I guess it's easier, obviously easier, when you're dealing with one person that does all that because it's like all-encompassing. Oh, okay, we got oh, yeah, this, we got that angle. Fire. Instead of having to rely on five or six people to do you know, all these things, you got one person that understands it all. Exactly. And especially for somebody that's really good at what they do. Claro. And that vibes with you and that obviously you vibe with them. And it, it just, just good makes vibes. She's good, just good everything vibes. Everything in this business is vibing. I life is vibing. You meet people, you either get along with them or you don't. Good vibes. Right? It's about good vibes. Well, um... Mariah Angelique brings her good vibes to our iHeartRadio Fiesta Latina. This is happening Saturday, October 16th, hosted by me. We have J Balvin. We have uh, Sion y Lennox. La Z y la L. We have Wissing y Andel. It's going to be awesome. Luis Fonsi, we're honoring him for all his great work that he does for, for kids and for, for us Latinos as a whole, celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. We're taking the show to... Orlando, Florida at the Amway Center, Saturday, October 16th, iHeartRadio Fiesta Latina 2021. Y va a estar con nosotros, por supuesto, Mariah Angelique. Mariah Carey, please leave her alone. You're not the only Mariah. We love you. We respect you. Pero por favor, entiende de que no eres la única persona en el mundo que se llama Mariah. Hay otras Mariah, como Mariah oh. Angelique. Yes or no? Got, y ella hace eh, muy bien el perreíto y lo canta chills. también. I got shoes off that. It's, really? Literally. I, 
speaking from the heart. Sometimes I talk a lot of shit, but <laughs> I meant what I just said for real. Um, yeah. You know, it'd be cool. You should. Leave Mariah, me alone. Mariah Carey. Can you imagine Mariah Carey dancing El Perreito? <laughs> She's probably heard your music for sure. She knows. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, she knows who I am. Hello. Yeah. That was the that was the root of it all. That was the root of the problem. When you search up Mariah, right? Who comes up? There you go. Uh oh. Por eso la estás intimidando. Eh, and I, before you leave, we got to talk about el maquinón. Okay. What's your favorite type of maquinón? Is it a four by four? Is it a four door? Is it a two door? Is it big? Is it small? Um. Is it a certain I color? I gotta say, my favorite maquinón is the uh, the Aston Martin. Oh, you got got. Such I said that wrong. You got I mean the Aston taste. Martin. Aston Martin. You got great taste. You got like James Bond vibe. Like a Bond, like una chica Bond. Nah, I don't. I just, I just cheap... know my boyfriend put me onto that car. I don't even know what that shit is like. <laughs> you, well, you I know, wanna... but I know that's the best one. Uh, you got good taste. And you know, you know what you don't want to look at is the price tag on that car. Oh, that don't matter. I have Mariah Carey buy it for me. Ooh, that's the attitude. Eso me gusta. Mariah Angelique, all the best to you. We'll see you at iHeartRadio Fiesta Latina el sábado 16 de octubre. I'll see you there. And Thank happy you. birthday. Thank you. Of course.